In today's episode, you will learn how to make IoT water level sensor using Node MCU ESP8266 TOF10120 Time of Flight Laser Range Finder or Distance Sensor and Blink application. I have been working on water tank level indicator based projects for quite a long time. I have already designed two water tank level indicators. This water level monitoring system is based on the Arduino, ultrasonic sensor and some LEDs to display the percentage of water. For the beginners, this is the simplest and easiest project to start with. I modified my previous water tank level monitoring system and converted it into an IoT water level sensor. With the help of this project, I was able to see the percentage of water via LEDs and I was also able to monitor the water level from anywhere around the world using my cell phone. The water level monitoring system that we are going to make in this episode is also based on the IoT water level monitoring system. But this one is more reliable, low cost and easy to build. In this project, I replaced the ultrasonic sensor with a TOF10120 time of light range finder or distance sensor for measuring the water level. The TOF10120 can be easily waterproofed. Moreover, the previous version of the IoT water level sensor was more complicated as I used the Arduino and Node MCU ESP8266 together. We can make the same water level sensor using only the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, so this will reduce the cost and programming. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using my hand and a hard board, which you can think of as the water level. So anyhow, this is the smartest water level monitoring system because you get the actual distance in millimeters and the water level inside the tank in percentage. More when the water tank is empty, you will also get the notification on your cell phone. The water tank empty notification part is really important. It has to be in the smartest way. You don't want to send too many notifications to annoy the user. I used a timer to control the notification messages. The time in minutes can be adjusted as per the user requirements. For the demonstration purposes, I started with 2 minutes, so when the water tank is empty, the ESP8266 will send the notification message after every 2 minutes. Another feature that makes this water level sensor is the smartest IoT water level sensor is that you get notifications even when the water level monitoring app is running in the background. Let's wait and see if we will receive the notification message. Great, I just received the notification message. When the water tank is half or fully filled depending on the predefined value, then no messages are sent. As this project is based on the IoT Internet of Things based project, so your Node MCU ESP8266 needs to be connected with the Wi-Fi at all times, otherwise you won't be able to monitor the water level inside the tank. After all this explanation, I'm sure now you have got the idea of what you're going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the TOF10120 laser range sensor. The TOF stands for time of flight. As per the data sheet, the recommended ranging range of this sensor is between 100 and 1800 millimeters. The TOF10120 laser range sensor module can be easily powered up using 
3 to 5 volts. Due to this wide range of input voltages, this time of light ranging sensor can be easily used with 5 volt and 3.3 volt compatible controller boards like Arduino, ESP8266 and ESP32 etc. The current consumption of this laser distance sensor is 35 milliamps. The ideal temperature range of this sensor is from minus 20 to plus 70 centigrade. Due to this wide temperature range, this module can be used in extreme indoor and outdoor weather conditions. The six wires nicely plugs in. The black wire is the ground wire. The red wire is the voltage wire. The yellow wire is the RXD and the white wire is the TXD. The blue wire is the SDA and the greenish wire is the SCL. This module can communicate with the controller using the I2C communication bus and can also communicate serially using the RXD and TXD wires. So out of these six wires, I'll use only four wires, the ground wire, red wire, blue wire and this green wire. So I will use I2C communication. As per the data sheet, the I2C address of this module is 0xA4. But I2C addressing uses the high 7 bits, so it's 0x52, which is equivalent to 82. You can also find the I2C address of the TOF10120 by using the I2C scanner code, which you can download from the article available on electronicclinic.com. As explained earlier, we'll be using only the SDA and SCL pins of the TOF10120 laser distance sensor. So for this, you should know about the node MCU ESP8266 pinout. The I2C pins in the node MCU ESP8266 are D1 and D2. D1, which is the GPIO5, is the SCL and the D2 which is the GPIO4 is the SDA. Besides this you will also need to install the node MCU ESP8266 board. I have a very detailed getting started tutorial on the node MCU ESP8266 in which I have explained the maximum basic things including the board installation and how to write a very basic program to control and edit it using the Blink application. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram of the IoT water level sensor. To power up the Node MCU ESP8266, we will need a power supply. J1 is the DC female power jack and this is where we connect our 9V to 25V DC power supply. The LM7805 voltage regulator step downs the voltage and outputs regulated 5V. To filter out noise and voltage spikes, two 470 microfarad electrolyte decoupling capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. An LED is also connected at the output of the regulator which is used as an indicator. The output of the regulator is also connected with the VN pin of the node MCU and don't forget to connect the ground of the node MCU. ESP8266 with the ground of the regulator. The TOF10120 power supply pins are connected with the node MCU 3.3V and ground pins, while the SCL and SDA wires of the TOF10120 are connected with the node MCU SCL and SDA pins. You can also add a relay if you want to control a water pump. I have this power supply board which I designed for the node MCU ESP8266 which I use as the development board for testing my IoT based projects. I have already explained the designing and making. I will provide a link in the description. I started off by connecting the power supply wires and the SCL and SDA wires of the TOF10120 sensor with the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. My connections are completed and now let's make the Blink application.
Our Blink application is ready now. Let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I defined two timers, timer 1 and timer 2. Timer 1 is used with the TOF10120 sensor while the timer 2 is used for counting the seconds, minutes and hours. Next I added the authentication code which was sent while making the Blink application and the Wi-Fi credentials. I also defined some variables for storing the distance, seconds, minutes and hours. Inside the white step function, I activated the serial communication I2C and Blink. The two user-defined functions are called after every one second using the timers. Inside the white loop function, I simply run the two timers and Blink. The TOF10120 is a user-defined function and it is used to measure the distance. The measured distance is stored in two variables x underscore mm and the sensor actual value. The distance value stored in x underscore mm is mapped to display the water level in percentage. 600 represents the maximum height of the water tank. Finally, we send the values to the Blink application through virtual pins V4 and V5. These functions are exactly the same as used in my previous projects. Time underscore check function is also a user defined function and it is called after every one second. This function is used to count the seconds and minutes. This function controls the notification messages which are sent when the water tank is empty. Currently the notification time is set to 2 minutes. You can change the time duration as per your requirement. The next condition checks if the tank is half filled then reset the seconds and minutes. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded the program. Let's watch the IoT water level sensor in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.